In this episode of The Journal, we welcome Cody Helton to the mountainous area of the heart of the Eastern Cape, a few miles from the border of the old trans -Guy. The trans -Guy was administratively created by the South African government in 1959 as a non-independent Bantustan designed for the Koso-speaking people. This was the homeland for the millions of people that lost their South African citizenship under the apartheid regime. The Transkei is also famous for the small little village on the banks of the Mbasha River called Mveso, where the great Nelson Mandela was born. This is Cody's first visit to the southern tip of Africa, and although he has bought a package, he believes in the old saying that goes, when Africa presents you with an opportunity, you take it. With an elevation of over 7,000 feet, we catch up with the team as they pursue a mountain repack. Interesting fact about the mountain reedback is that after six years of age, some would say that they are at the prime age for breeding, when in actual fact, the males start going sterile. The journal is brought to you by Treason. Don't just blend, become. Splitting Image Taxidermy. Worth remembering. Maxis Tires. Covering pHs over any terrain. Magnum Archery. Black Widow Broadheads. Always deadly. Carbon Core Arrows. 100% premium carbon. And pH Toolbox. Helping you make your own adventure. Coming back down to just over 3,000 feet above sea level, the team opted out of the wind and spent the early afternoon chasing white springbuck. Springbuck have got to be among the most common species that hunters genuinely pick off as their first species in Africa. With skittish personalities and agile movements, the springbuck are extremely challenging to hunt.
trip to Africa is not just about food, lodging or hunting, but rather indulging the rich history and sharing lifelong experiences with the different cultures and traditions this continent has to offer.